Hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to share Google Slides presentation with others. As Google Slides exists completely online, sharing your presentation with others isn't limited to an email attachment. This post will show you how to share Google Slide presentations in ways. There's definitely something here to meet your needs. But before we get to that, you need to know where to find a share function in Google Slides. First, open Google Slides and click File in the top bar. Click Share at the top of the drop-down menu, or click Share at the top right-hand side of your window. Using Share with People and Groups, you can share your Google Site presentation with multiple people at once. Share with People and Groups allows you to change the editing permissions per contact. You can allow each contact to simply view the document or add comments or edit it themselves. The level of permission you choose can be different for each contact you share with, giving you a lot of flexibility. Next, click Share to bring up the Share with People and Groups pane. Next, to add people and groups, start typing the name or email address of the contact you want to share the deck with. A list of recommendations will appear as you type, and once you've selected the right contact, their name will appear at the top of the pane. If the person you want to share with is not already on your contact list, you need to type in their full email address. Then, Click the small cross next to a contact name to deselect the contact. When you share using Share with People and Groups, Google will ask user to log in to their Google account to access your shared file. If the user does not have a Google account, they will be unable to access your deck. If you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us. Now, you have chosen your contact. You can alter their permissions to change how they are able to interact with the deck. There are three options so far, viewer, commenter, and editor. Once you have selected one of these permissions option, you are free to hit send. If you tick notify people, your contact will receive an email letting them know that they have permission to access or interact with your deck. Then, to share a Google Site presentation via a link, in this window, you can also get a link. Just click the blue copy link button, paste the link anywhere from an email draft or Microsoft Teams chat, and this link will only work for people who have been given permission to view, edit, or comment on the deck. And to change this, there, in the Get Link section, press Change. Choose whether your deck is restricted or if anyone with a link can view. When you change a link setting to restricted, the only people who can still see the deck you are those you have directly shared with the Share with People and Groups section. That's it. Hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this. See you again next time.